Hey, Kevin right here, back with another property finance video. And this week we're going to be talking about studio flats and why studio flats can be a bad investment. So if you're thinking about investing in studio flats, watch this video. Okay, studio flats. Uh, I get the appeal. You know, they're cheaper. Uh, they're the cheapest flat you can buy, well they should be, in any given area. Uh, cheaper than two bedroom, cheaper than one bedroom. There are some caveats to buying studio flats that I think you need to be aware of before you sink your money into one of them. So let's look at what they are. And we're gonna look at two areas of investing in studio flats. Mortgageability and rentability. Let's deal with mortgageability first of all. Now mortgage lenders don't tend to like studio flats over much and the smaller they are the less they like them and if you're considering investing in a studio flat you need to know mortgage lenders benchmark size and it is 30 square meters so if you buy a studio flat or you're looking to buy a studio flat and it measures up at less than 30 square meters your choice of mortgage lenders shrinks dramatically. And the more it drops down below 30 square meters, each square meter it drops below 30, your choice of lenders diminishes further still. Now you might be asking, why is that? What's the difference, Kevin? And let me tell you. Now you've probably heard me say this in other videos, but mortgage lenders have always got one eye on how quickly and how easily they can get rid of your property and get their cash back if you stop paying the mortgage and they have to repossess you. Now mortgage lender's perception is that there are limited or diminished demand for studio flats, which gets worse the smaller they are. Now in their opinion, 30 square meters or above means that they've got a reasonable chance of selling that on the open market with vacant possession fairly quickly. Below 30, they, they believe they're gonna struggle. And what feeds that perception? The amount of space that people actually want to live in. And of course, the more cramped it is, the less likely people are gonna to want to buy it and live in it. Now, let's be honest, no one wants to live long-term with their bed in the lounge. So studio flats, whether for purchase or for rent, a pretty much a stopgap facility. So we looked at the mortgage ability, and now let's look at the rentability. Studio flats should be cheaper than a one bed, uh, and certainly cheaper than a two bed flat. So they're gonna to appeal to a certain type of tenant, and that is the cash strapped tenant. So pretty much for most people that are looking to rent a flat, the studio flat is the last resort. If they can afford a one bed flat in a given area, they'll go for that instead. So if they take your studio flat, you could probably say it's got a limited shelf life and that is limited to them becoming more affluent. When they get a new job with a higher salary or a pay rise on their existing job and that allows them to afford a better flat than a studio flat, they'll be gone. So it's reasonable to expect tenant churn to be higher with studios than bigger flats. And it's possible you could have longer voids before you can relet your studio flat. Now, tenant churn and voids are gonna hit your overall returns and profitability of your studio flat. And there's bound to be someone watching this that says, well, I've got a studio flat, it's always full, it's never vacant, and you know that's just the exception that proves the rule. But logically speaking, studio flats have the two disadvantages that I've outlined to you so far. Now, if you are gonna buy a studio flat to rent out, do some due diligence and make sure there's a strong demand for them in the first place. And if you want to get reasonable mortgage rates, just look for the ones that are 30 square meters or bigger. You may find your tenants stay longer and your mortgage rates are cheaper because you've got a wider range of lenders to choose from. Hey, have you subscribed yet? Click that subscribe button down there and that dingy belly thing so you don't miss any of my videos when they're released, which is every week. Great, thanks. I almost forgot, Instagram. Click that button too, look, it's down there. 
Thanks. Okay, so pretty short and snappy this week about studio flats. I'll be back next week with another property finance video. See you then. If you enjoyed watching this video, did you know every Monday morning at 8.30, I do a live Facebook Q&A. So if you want to start the week with checking out some answers to your property finance questions, click the link here.